water <clears throat> I'm gonna be spraying my hair with I hate this bottle because it's just like shoot out rather than you know like do like a spray mist so I'm gonna take my denim brush and run out through my hair this is um natural wave I have limbs 30 30, 28, 26, 3 bundles, and a uh, 20 inch front tool. My foaming spray. This helps soften up the, um, the hair. Okay, you guys, so I've been up all night washing, um, surgery videos on YouTube. As you guys know, or if you don't. I have gotten plastic surgery lipo so I wanted to get my boobs done so I was looking into that and I came across um time infamous page her speaking about um what was it called breast implants illness and I'm telling you guys this video was so crazy like I never heard about this it's crazy how people keep, well not her, but just people in general who get surgery, that they keep stuff they go through a secret. Basically, it's like a, a sickness that your body like rejects after a couple of years that your implants are put in. Like your body is like a fighting the implant. Like they going through diarrhea, um, blurry vision, shakes, they start to stink, like they armpits, it starts to smell like metal. Like this is crazy. And they have to get the implants taken out. Like silicone and doctors say silicone is supposed to be like the best implant. Like it's not supposed to leak, it's not supposed to do anything. But when I typed it in YouTube after watching her video, it was a lot of videos like it. I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Okay. And these ladies was crying. Like. They was really in pain. Like, this could have really killed them. And when you get these surgeries, the doctors don't tell you that after every three years, you're supposed to get a checkup. Like an MIR, like a checkup with your with your boobs. They don't tell you that. And a lot of it's early sign symptoms that they got the first two years of with the implants and they like ignored it because it wasn't nothing serious until a few like three to four years later they was like really in pain having diarrhea um Vision problems, all these things. Kept going to the hospital. Doctor saying, "You're fine. You're healthy. Nothing wrong." But yet they waking up in the middle of the night in pain. Can't walk. Saying they feel so tired, like they old. This is just very scary. And then not only you guys should really look into that. If you're ever thinking about getting like your boobs done, not only do you pay money to get them done, like, money that you're wasting, it costs double the price just to get them removed. Some people don't even have money for that. They just have money to get them done. And that's it. They're not thinking 
nothing else. They're not thinking long term, but if something happened, basically people are not thinking about to get them removed. Who is who goes to get a boob job and think, hey, let me save extra money just in case I have to get them removed? Nope. I hate this one. It's always one side I like, which is this one. And then one side I hate. But let me fix it. I'm gonna try to fix it. That's where your baby hairs is like your eyebrows. Here, I use this for curly hair. It makes it really soft and it stays in place. Keep make the curls pop. It don't make it like poofy or or anything. I don't like really big static hair after it dries. So this you know just lay down make it soft stay in place it's like a gel <clears throat> so yeah so about the boobs that really freaked me out so I have very big boobs I am a um I'm a 34 triple triple Z and I just don't like that I have big breasts. It just gets in the way of a lot of things. So I was just thinking that maybe I can um get a breast reduction and a lift. Which I always wanted to do that. That was like my main goal at first was to do that when it came to doing a boob job. But I didn't want to waste my money because they say normally you have to put an implant in them. You have breasts like this big. You know, just to make it stay, like you get your money worth, make it stay in shape. Because eventually, the lift won't last, like, forever. But, my health is more important. So, I think I may just do that. Breast reduction and a lift. I think I want to go down to like a full C. I'm so, I hate my boobs. Like, they are too big. Too big. The trouble I go through with them is ridiculous. They be looking all nice and flatter than pictures. <laughs> but really, I be having to have safety pins on my bathing suits. You would never know because my hair be hiding it. Or like, this has to do so much stuff in certain outfits with them. Also, they make my back hurt. Scrunch, scrunch. I was thinking maybe I should buy like a diffuser. Uh, um, them things, them hair dryer things that look like this. Scrunch it up for you. But I was like, I save my money. And just zoom with my hand, right? What you think? Or should I just buy it? But I don't really wear curly hair that much. Wavy hair. Well, this is wavy. Takes like the frizziness away, and I make it like frizzy. And spray that. And it finds the curls and makes it less um frizzy and crunchy. Every time, normally I just do water and this. But being that I went like four to five days, just having my hair look terrible, I use this. I 
think I need a bigger bottle of this. They didn't have it though. The store I went to. Look, I want my whole shirt up. I should have left my towel. When it dries, it's so pretty. Gonna lay my edges down. Add some bio silk and that's it. Take my concealer and um foreign. So that's it. I'm really feeling this here. Thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.